day again. Welcome to each and every one to Larry's Fountain Pens Review. I'm Larry Baronis in Fort Worth, Texas, and I will be your host for this mail call. In this box, I don't know what's in it yet, but what's in it, we're about to find out together, so let's get this going on. We'll open it up. I know this much that the person that sent me this wants to stay anonymous. Okay? So I will do that. But I will thank that person a hundred thousand times. So let's get this open and let's see what's inside. Paper and more paper. And a cool little note. And here we go. And the first one. Colt Pins by Coveco. Very interesting. And let's look at the nib for a minute. It's got a fine nib. So I'm just going to set that right there for now. Put this aside. And let's see here. Here is another pen. Pilot Toe, T O W F M. So I guess that's F M fine medium. Not really sure. And I'm trying to see the the nib from Pilot. Uh. I don't really know. It's kind of way down below into the grip section, so I'll have to look at that later. And some more paper. Wow. And some more pens. In fact, we got a box full of pens here. Okay? So, grab yourself a chair. Let's have some fun. Nice pen sleeves. Here's a Beautiful pen. Looks like a Cochrane Duograph. I'm just going to lay that so I won't lose them. And we'll go for another one. And the old popular Coveco Sport. And still another. Here's a beauty. Really nice. like a Fira. Make sure I'm seeing that right, Mr. Announcer. It's Piper. Is that a P? Mm-hmm. P-I-P-E-R? Yeah. Piper? You sure it's not an F? Pretty sure. Reminds me of the Fiero. Is that, Fiero. Is that the Fiero I'm talking about? There's a pen, and I have to get it out to show you, but that's what it reminds me of. Piper. Hmm, interesting pen. Medium nib. You 
you don't remember that other one I had that the fear of? I don't remember the name. I think I found that on eBay some years ago. I've never heard of the brand, so. Well, this is the beautiful, gorgeous Garrett's Custom Ink. Love the pen, beautiful pen. And this one has a medium Schmidt nib on it. Beautiful pen. And yet another. All right. Now, isn't that good looking? If it only had a clip, it would be perfect. Let's see, a note should be in here. Because I have no idea what that pen is. I wonder if it's a Heinz pen. What do you think? I don't do recognize think? the color scheme as one. Well, I'm looking for Although the it does have the that same look, you know. Uh, screw on type. Let's open it up and see what the nip tells us if it is a Jim Hines pen. Well, I know Hines has uh, his own logo on his uh, nibs now didn't have it but I am going to think and I'm going to think out loud what I'm going to go with Heinz let's see and I'm totally wrong it's a Ranga go ahead and finish uh, Ranga Monterey Ranga Monterey Ebonite Blue Yeller huh but that kind of reminds me of a Heinz pen though Beautiful color. The only thing it needed to be a, a cool, great pen is a clip. All right, we're almost done here. And now we have a Schaefer. So what kind of Schaefer is in this one? Interesting. Uh, that's a Ferrari. Now this is a Ferrari. Okay, not the one I was thinking about on this pen. I'll have to find that pen I'm talking about to show you. A Ferrari. And we'll just look at the nib real quick. Medium nib. Schaefer. Very nice pen. Very nice pen. You stay in there. All right, last but not least. Don't know what kind of pen this is, but it comes in a little uh, pen casing, but it's a... Uh, you can see that I can't... Oh, first off, let me... And we'll hold this right here. Uh, let's see, an Enso Pluma. A Pluma? Yeah. And Enso, oh, here it is. Enso Pluma, but it doesn't have Pluma. It has Enso right here. Huh. Beautiful pen. Again, just needs a clip. Love the black look to it. The black nib, really nice with the bonk nib. Very sweet looking pen. Very good looking pen. With a converter. You know, I do have a few pens that do not have nibs. But let me explain to you about the, the nib thing. At one time, years ago, I used to carry my pens. Of course, I carry them in a pen, pen sleeves, pen cases, etc. all the time. And it was a real nice pen that I really liked. And... Uh, it didn't have a any way to stop it from rolling off the, the table. No clip. 
and it didn't have nothing to hold on to because when that pin starts rolling it's going to fall off the table sooner or later and it's going to hit. Well, let's just use this pin. It didn't have a clip but it had a nice gold nib on it and it did post so I remember I posted the pin and I was writing with it and I set it down for a minute and when I did it just took off it rolling and I went to get it, it was too late it kind of took off that way and it fell off the table on to the hard floor uh, I was at a coffee shop at the time and it busted the nib and the cap flew off cracked the cap so the whole pin was pretty much done for so that's one of my main reasons that I don't like uh, capitalist pins I just don't like them that's just me but that doesn't mean I don't use them I, I, I use them at the house but I won't ever take them with me again so I will be reviewing all these pins and uh, have a lot of fun again let me remind you of the two pins that I've gotten in vintage Parker 45 and this is the Waterman that's called a fine line that's on the barrel they have really a beautiful pin but then I have a beautiful pin coming in wait till you see it it's an extra uh, Esterbrook I have it's Esterbrook J 50s vintage in my drawer I have some Esterbrooks but what this gentleman did to this Esterbrook you need to see it it is unbelievable at the pin club meeting we met just Thursday, Janice, uh, she showed me hers. I think it's called the Esterbrook Dollar 1930s, I believe. Or was it the Esterbrook 50 cents? One of the two. But beautiful, gorgeous pen. When he got done with the restoration of that pin it was one of the best restorations I've seen in a long time so I went to order the same one that Janice had but he didn't have any more but if he gets more in he will let me know and I'll get it so I wanted one because they were just so beautiful the way he finished it that I just had to have it so I went ahead and got the 1950 version but, uh, and I will show you that when it comes in and do a review on it and I'll show you my other uh, Esther books the uh, the Esther book J and the LJs that I have as well I do like a uh, vintage I but I'm I don't like all vintage that are out there you know, Parker, uh, Waterman, Schaefer, Weaver. It just depends uh, on the pen. But anyway, I had a lot of fun opening the box. And uh, to the anonymous donor, of these beautiful fountain pens. Peace. Thank you. And uh, this year I'm going to have some fun with giveaways on pens. I've got so many, it's time to start letting some go. So, anyway, my friends, thank you for joining me today on Larry's Fountain Pen Review. I hope you had a dynamite time, and I'll be back with another. Take care, God bless. Don't text and drive. Bye bye.